Hey everybody, it's Robot here for Vespa Motorsport, ScooterWest.com here in San Diego. Uh, for all things Vespa, check out our website, ScooterWest.com. For instance, you got a Sprint. I don't know how you stumble across this video. Maybe you were searching Sprint and windscreen. Maybe you follow our channel. Um, popular option for pretty much all Vespas is a windscreen. Whether it's a vintage Vespa, a modern Vespa, there's quite a few different windscreens available, especially for the Sprint. We got seven different windscreens available uh, in stock for this, this scooter here. Uh, for instance, you're gonna ride it through, further throughout the year where it's cooler, you wanna keep some of that cold air off you. Maybe you ride in the weather, wanna keep the uh, weather off you. Maybe you just like riding with no helmet like you can in some states here in the United States of America. Um, keep the bugs out of your teeth when you're easy riding. Um, this video is going to show seven different windscreens mounted up to this sprint right here. With me, you can kind of see I'm just like a mid-size average Joe, American dude, whatever. I don't know, what do I weigh, 160 pounds, 5'8", a little bit of a belly. Um, and I'll show those different windscreens and the measurements so you can kind of get an idea of what windscreen would be perfect for you. It's nothing like buying a windscreen and you just don't like it. You want to make a good choice when you're uh, picking out a windscreen. So off to the seven different windscreens and the fitment. And if you narrow it down to what windscreen you want, you can watch, watch the much longer videos of how to ins install the windscreens on your Sprint scooter and how to assemble them. Windscreens always come unassembled because they have a hardware kit that goes with the plexiglass shield. It's going to be two videos, one for the original Vespa Piaggio windscreens and one for the Faco windscreens. So it's also a wise investment. Anytime you have a plexiglass windscreen um, is the buy Plexus. Sorry, I got the tape on it. Part number on this is Oil Plexus and it comes in both a 13 ounce and a small 7 ounce can. I've gone on cross country trips with um, either a full face helmet that has a visor that's plexiglass or a windscreen and I brought a small bottle with me. It's a lot better than trying to clean a plexiglass shield with um, you know, paper towel at the gas station. So it's put on a thin layer of it. You know, with, even with the new windscreen, it's kind of got some of a haze on there. You take a brand new microfiber rag and pretty much buff, buff the spray right out and it works great. And in a pinch, you can use it even to clean the paint finish on your scooter too as well. So I'm, I don't know, a mid-sized guy for an American, I guess. Uh, you can see I have to directly look through the windscreen. It protects my hands, so if I wasn't wearing gloves or was riding on a rainy day, it would keep quite a bit of the rain off me. Kind of to give you an idea of how tall this windscreen is. I'll show you from the top of the, the handlebars. You're right there about 20 inches, you know, 50 centimeters. So you see that? So the width of this windshield is about 18 inches or around uh, 450 millimeters, 45 centimeters. Again, this windshield would give you the most protection of all the various windshields we have available for the Sprint scooter. You can see the windscreen comes up from the top of the handlebars about six inches or 150 millimeters. And the width of the windscreen is about, you know, at the lower part is probably about 15 inches, 14 inches and 380 millimeters. And some people may ask like, why would you want to put a windscreen like, like this size on the scooter? Uh, I've ridden long distance. Sometimes I don't like the really big windscreens, you know, on warmer days. But for longer, higher speed riding, is what this will do is it will kick the air, you know, be a cleaner air hitting your face, but you have less pressure on your chest. And it wears you out a little bit less, you know, on longer rides because you just don't have the pressure of uh, the frontal air hitting you as much. Uh, keeps the bugs off you a little bit, hence why they call them a fly screen. Um, obviously, if you're going to wear an open face helmet with uh, no glasses, you might still eat some bugs, but not quite as few, many. Um, and a lot of people like the style of it. 
kind of is reminiscent of the 60s mod style. A lot of those style scooters, they would put a small windscreen on. On my own personal PX, I have the identical version of this on my PX, this original Vespa. So as you can see, nearly identical in shape, we have the clear one. And my opinion is the smoke one goes great with the, the kind of masculine colors like the satin um, gray bike. The clear, clear shields goes great with the classic colors, you know. It's all personal preference whether you want a smoked winds, windscreen or not. Again, same shape, just the clear version of it. So for comparison, overlaying the two, that's the large one, and you can see the outline of the fly screen. So here we have the SP16F Faco windscreen for the Sprint. You can see it's quite tall. You look through the windscreen, similar to the SP16PA. The height from the headlight to the top is about 20 inches or 500 uh, millimeters. The width of the windscreen is about 20 inches as well. A little wider than the Piaggio windscreen, 500 millimeters. And as you can see, it has full protection. It's got this unique characteristic of this tinting that's uh, on the lower part, kind of a styling cue. All the stickers, if you wanted to, you could remove those stickers pretty simply. I think they're actually easier to remove than the Piaggio sticker, just like a cling sticker. Uh, the warnings are, you know, if you park any of these larger windscreens on direct sunlight, sometimes the sun will come down and it could distort the plastics on here. So be careful where you park the scooter. If you have the right combination of sunlight going through this, it kind of works like a magnifying lens and you'll be wondering why the plastics are distorted on the scooter. It could be a situation like that. And that's what the warning is there. Something just to consider. Uh, you can see it's good protection in both the rain or the cold. So here we have the original Piaggio SP16PA. You can see it's a little narrower, just as tall as this Faco windscreen. It's a different profile, has the same hand protection. So here we got the SP18F CL, the Faco midsize windscreen. Again, it's got the little wings that keep uh, the wind off your hands, kind of like hand shields. Uh, I could just barely look over this windscreen at 5'8". And the height of the windscreen is going to be just under 14 inches, about 340 millimeters. And the width, as you can see, is about 16 inches and 400 millimeters. Again, with the wind wings, a good mid-sized one. You could kind of look around it pretty easily versus the larger windscreen. Large windscreen. You can see similar uh, profile down below, but you have another six inches of glass up above. So here's the smallest Faco windscreen available for the Sprint, the SP18. Uh, FSM, I think it is. Um, the overall height from the headlight is just about one foot for 300 millimeters, 12 inches. And the width, which is pretty consistent throughout the whole windscreen is about 13 and a half inches or 340 millimeters. And you can see it has minimal protection of your hands. Uh, I can look directly over this windscreen, no problem, even though it's smoked. Um, it's gonna kick, for this size windscreen for me, I've found that it just kicks the air just, just about over my head. You know, if I put my hand out here when you're riding this at, for instance, 80 kilometers an hour, 850 miles an hour, um, it's kicking the wind right about here. So you have a little bit of it hitting you, you're gonna feel a little bit more buffeting, you know, kinda cause the, the wind is has a little bit of turbulence with the smaller shield versus the large winds, windscreens that are shedding all the wind around you. You know, so you're gonna have a little bit on your shoulders. But I would feel comfortable riding this with like a half, half shell helmet with like just regular glasses, not some wraparound sunglasses. It's gonna keep the uh, air out of my eyes. It's got a little more style with the tinted um, 
glass on it. And for example, I'll show you the mid-size Faco against it with much more protection, not much taller, only a little bit. But you can see the outline, about an inch and a half taller there. And last, I'll show you the fly screen up against it. This is the original Piaggio fly screen. That's more or less to keep uh, the, the air pressure off your chest, not do much about keeping wind out of your face. So you can see several inches shorter. Uh, even the, the Faco small windscreen is gonna be wider here. So here with the SP18F-Twin installed, you could see it in the retracted uh, position. Uh, I can clearly see right over it, no problem. The tinted screen, it's not tinted enough that's uh, obstructing my vision. Uh, it's got a little bit of a wing that kicks some of the air off your hands when you're riding. And with the windscreen down, the height is about 11 inches or 280 millimeters. Uh, with you're a little over 15 inches or 290, 300 millimeters. And that kind of carries throughout the whole shape. It's a pretty rectangular windscreen. Um, and you could pick any position in between the lowest and the highest here. At the highest position, you're looking at about 16 inches or 400 millimeters. And I'm clearly looking through the clear windshield. The air is probably going to kick right over my helmet with this windscreen up. Ideally, this is if you're riding in weather or you ride with a half helmet, uh, don't want the, the wind hitting your face. Warmer day, just reach in there, loosen the two nuts, and pull that down. And for comparison, I'll pull the Faco mid-size windscreen, kind of show you how it compares. So with it down, uh, you can see the mid-size windscreens maybe only an inch and a half taller. And with it up, compared to a full-size windscreen, You can see it's pretty close to the same size as the full-size windscreen, maybe about two inches shorter. So I hope that helps with your decision if you're looking for a windscreen for your Sprint. I think I've done some windscreen videos for the Primavera as well. There's the full range of similar windscreens for the Primavera. You know, I think there's seven or even eight different windscreens we have available for a Primavera. Same goes with the GTS, quite a few are available for the GTS 300. Um, again, if you're looking to install these, there's two videos. There's one that's specific to installation of the Piaggio windscreens, one for the Faco windscreens, and a video you're watching now, which is just a summary of all the different windshields. Um, check them out on scooterwest.com if you're interested in purchasing them. Uh, most of them qualify for free shipping uh, as of 2019. If you spend over $100, you get $20 towards free shipping. And a lot of these Faco wind windshields are quite affordable, sometimes as much as half the price of the Piaggio counterpart. Um, but the hardware is not quite as nice as the Piaggio stuff, but it's perfectly good, very functional wind windshields here. Till next time, it's a robot here, Vespa Motorsport. Ramp. <laughs>